Hi there, today I'm going to take you on a tour of our yoga studio setup which we do when we're shooting our yoga library video series. Um, I'll show you the cameras, the lighting, the positioning along with the variety of peripherals. You'll see that no two cameras are the same and indeed one of them is sending its information directly wirelessly via NDI so you'll see that as well. If this is something that you're thinking of doing and you have any questions, please leave questions in the comment area. And at the end, I'll show you a clip to show some of the scene changes that we achieve during the video shoot itself. Uh, I use Ecamm Live to produce this whole event live, which minimizes the post-production requirements because everything, all of the cuts are done live. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Hi there, so here I am in the yoga studio where we do our recordings once a week. We try to record at least three full videos uh, every week, so that's what we're doing here today. I just thought I would show you the way that I'm set up, so it, just in case it's of interest to you. So let me just flip this screen around. So here I'm putting on the uh, GoPro. So I use the GoPro here and I've got a, a set of GoPro uh, connectors all connected up together and you'll see how these go on essentially in a second right here. All right, so hopefully you can see that. The GoPro itself is powered and has its own connector, so the power cable goes into an extension link that I have just here and plugs straight in via a USB power supply, so that keeps this GoPro going as long as I need it, uh, hours if I need to. And the USB connector I use is this is uh, an HDMI to the USB mini connector which goes on to this 20 foot long HDMI cable that I've got which is way longer than I actually need. Anyway we plug this into there and then directly into the GoPro like so. So now all I need to do is connect this end up to a capture card and I'll show you the capture card later when I get the computer out. So that's the GoPro. So there it is in position uh, with both of the power cable and the HDMI cable connected to it. If you're interested in my lighting setup here, it's pretty unconventional. Uh, I've got obviously got a lighting stand and that leads all the way up to this lighting unit there uh, behind which I've got a normal tungsten lamp but you can see that's quite a bright lighting unit and what I do is I bounce it off of the ceiling and that gives me really good light to the end of the room and I've got two of those units and they are essentially construction lighting units but they're super bright and have a very good colour temperature which is easily corrected uh, in uh, in Ecamm or in the, your video software, so they work really well for me. I just happen to have them. They're not cheap. You'd probably be cheaper buying direct uh, LED lighting systems for yourselves, but because I already have these, I make use of them. So that's the lighting system as it stands. So on the other lighting stand, I use one of these. This is a fantastic little thing that I've got from Amazon and this essentially clips to any pole that you like or desk or any surface and it gives you a connector for your tripod mount or whatever it is it's a normal uh, mount for any camera that you've got so i've got a holder here which will go onto the end and that holds 
one of my cameras, which happens to be an iPhone 11. So we use an iPhone 11 for one of the side angle views. And uh, this holds it very nicely and very easily in that position. You'll see that in a little while. And at the end, we have the Sony camera. So my Sony camera there is recording in full 4K and that allows me to zoom in to various parts of the scene to give me multiple angles, all from the one camera. Um, I haven't started the software yet, but that's the box with the laptop in it. The two capture cards, so I've got a capture card here. This greyish cable is connected to the GoPro and my cam link is connected to the, um, to the Sony camera, which I haven't turned on yet, but I will do now. So we can get an idea of what the view might be like there. Obviously we're on a tripod here. So I have a Rode uh, Wireless Go 2 system with a lav mic, which I will get out in a minute and will connect to uh, the teacher. But that is connected straight up onto the top of my Sony camera. And so we can feed that data straight into the Sony camera using the supplied cable, which is this one here. So that simply plugs let me bring this around and try and show you how I do it. So simply that plugs straight into there and this piece plugs into the little port just here. So that is now connected and so the sound will go through the Sony and essentially down the HDMI cable straight into the computer so that the synchronization with this uh, video is, is perfect. This is a power cable going into the Sony to keep it powered up. And what I've actually got is a USB power pack. And I essentially connect that using one of my uh, small rig gubbins that's theoretically made to hold a camera, but it holds the power pack uh, in a good position so there's no stress on the cable. So I use that to power the, uh, the Sony camera and that will last for the duration of our video shoot, which is probably between two and three hours long. So uh, there you go, that's it. And then on the left hand side, we have a iPhone 11, which is just being naturally powered, but the camera feed to that is uh, NDI. I don't know if I can show you that, but that's an NDI camera that's going to be feeding wirelessly into the uh, Ecamm Live system. Above that, we've got our lights. On the system, we're gonna be using this Rode Wireless Go here, which is gonna be connected to this lav mic just here. And if I go in here, I monitor it via these headphones, and I have my numpad control just there, which gives me access to all of my scenes and my cameras. Uh, just running on an iPad there, which is nice and easy and totally silent and works wirelessly, if, of course, again. And in the background, I have Ecamm Live, which will allow me to run all of the scenes. So the scene that you're seeing at the moment is the one from the GoPro over there. Uh, if I wanted to switch scenes, I simply tap on one of these buttons so let's just do that and that's changed it to the main scene and I can also switch over to uh, a closer scene if I want to all on the same camera and all just using numpad pro on the iPad. Uh, the camera is the Sony ZV-E10 or ZV-E10 for the American listeners amongst you. I can monitor the screen because it's a uh, articulating screen which is great and connected into that is the Rode Go 2 uh, Go 2 uh, microphone receiver and we lead up then to simply a 
Canon EOS 6D, which is taking uh, HD video from a higher angle, which I can then blend in later if I want to. The reason for that is because it's not a high enough quality to add in via HDMI. The output is below HD level on the HDMI. I hope you find this useful. If you want to ask any questions, please do. That's enough of that. Let's get on with filming.